Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the uh, gun shop today. Um, I was told that you were looking at uh, potentially customizing something. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of the times there is, um, usually you just find an AR on the shelf um, already made. You might even have some accessories on it. Um, but the nice thing with ARs is that you can customize them um, really to your liking on anything. Uh, the stock, the, what kind of like forend you want on there, lighting, optic, um, even like the trigger. I mean, you can get very, uh, very customizable to what you're after. So a lot of the times uh, people will just buy one completed and then they will customize it from there um, but the problem with that can be is that you'll pay you're paying full price for a full completed gun and then once you start taking off accessories and whatnot um, and buying new ones you have a lot of parts left over and you're usually a lot more money into it than if you just customized it right off the bat so I have a couple um, lower receivers here that we're going to start with just to kind of get your um, an idea of sort of what you're after and then we'll kind of build off of that okay so the lower receivers that I have today um, these are these are what they call completed lowers in which um, I've already installed like the trigger, the safety, the hammer, and the uh, buffer tube. Um, that's a lot of the, essentially, the harder work, if you even want to call it that. Um, it does require some, like, some malleting and of some pins and stuff like that. Uh, nothing, nothing major, but um, from this point, everything else is just you know, simple, like, you can just put an upper on here, put a stock on here, and kind of um, go from there. So, I have a couple different platforms. Um, this one being the most basic to start with. This is the AR-15 platform. Um, I have this lower receiver here. This is extremely basic. It has just the very cheap, uh, basic grip on here. Just a very basic parts kit. This will be a. This should be pretty cheap for you if this is what you're after. Um, I also have another one here. This is again the AR-15 platform. However, in it we have the Larue Tactical. This is a flat-facing trigger. So this is a much lighter uh, trigger pull. It also comes equipped with the bad lever on here already. So if you are shooting you can actually just flick it down um, you can flick it up to hold the bolt back and you can just flick it down to send the bolt forward rather than on a typical rifle you have to uh, you know, hit this button or hold it out if you're trying to lock the bolt so this is just the same thing it just has a couple more upgraded uh, features on it and then lastly for the AR-15 platform. This is another, again, very basic, um, but it does have a gray grip on here. And we do have a lot of gray furniture. Um, we have gray stocks and everything that uh, if you do decide to choose this, we can kind of, um, we can customize it. Again, you can do black furniture, gray furniture. You can do any kind of combo that you uh, you really want. So those are the three for the AR-15 platform. And the two, up, um, we do have a lot of uppers, but the two uh, caliber uppers that we have in stock today, should you choose that platform, we have the very traditional um, 5.56. Everyone's heard of this. Um, just when you think of AR-15, this is the caliber you think of. Um, we do also have an a upper receiver for the 50 Beowulf. That is a much bigger, beefier round. Um, you can only hold 
You can hold 30 rounds of 556. Five, you can only hold 10 rounds of 50 Beowulf. But it is a substantially larger cartridge. But it is still using the AR-15 platform. So all you have to do is just put the upper on it and uh, it changes the caliber out. Um, moving up in the world. Now this looks just like the lower the uh, AR-15s that I just showed you. However, this is an AR-10. So this is a much, can I do a little side by side here maybe, is a much thicker lower receiver because it is shooting a much beefier 308 cartridge. So again, it's the same thing. It's a semi-automatic 308 lower. Um, you can also do like 6.5 Creedmoor um, and even 8.6 Blackout, but this is what you would use the AR-10 because it's a much beefier receiver um, since it's a bigger round. And then lastly, if you're looking at something more compact, um, we do have the AR-57 platform. This is from the CMMG. And it is, it's a much smaller buffer tube, um, much smaller receiver overall. And you'll notice it has a special magwell because this takes special magazines that shoot this guy. Now this little tiny dude is the 5.7 by 28. Um, again, it's a very small but very fast cartridge. Um, so again, overall you can keep the gun very, very small if you'd like it. Um, again, this one does tote a gray receiver if you're into that. Um, does already have ambidextrous safeties on here. Um, so those are the kind of platforms we're working with and a couple of the different calibers we're working with. So just to get the basics of it going, um, which platform would you like to start off with today? Okay. And again, if you want to come back and do a different one, um, maybe you want to do an AR-10 or an AR-15 later, just let me know. Um, you're always more than welcome to come back and make another one. Um, but So today we're going to make a 5.7, okay? All right, um, let me go get some more supplies for this, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I got some accessories here to kind of start with. Um, I'm assuming you would like the more... We have a 20-round mag, but I'm assuming you want the 30-rounder. Um, It just, I feel like it looks better and obviously it holds more capacity, so uh, I'd recommend going with the 30. Now, I already grabbed up the upper for you. Um, so what I have here is a seven inch upper. Um, this one is, it matches the gray theme that we already have going on with the Banshee. And I even went with a gray um, muzzle brake. Now we can't swap this out if you'd like, but um, in my opinion, it just it matches the gun very nicely. Um, so we have your upper picked out. Now, um, next up, I'm gonna go with. So we have your traditional. This is a bigger AR-15 style bolt carrier group. It is more heavier. Um, the CMMG Banshee actually can use this, um, this is a blowback system, so it's, it's got a lot of holes cut into it, so it's much more lighter, um, and slightly differently designed, so I would recommend going with this bolt carrier. Um, for charging handles, we do have the very standard this is just a very, very cheap and standard AR-15 style. We also have 
This is an upgraded Aero Precision. This is a obviously ambidextrous mag release. And then we also have, this is a CMMG, same thing. It is ambidextrous charging handle. I'd recommend going with the ambidextrous ones um, over, it is a little bit more money, but it makes the gun look better and obviously functions a lot better. So um, that is where, that's where I would personally go. Alrighty. So now we have the basics of the gun completed. Um, So we have the framework of the gun here. Um, next up, we have a couple different uh, stock options that I'd like you to look at. Um, for black, we have the very, this is just a very, very basic AR-15 style. This is a much more beefier, like a carbine style. Uh, very beefy, and it can even hold uh, batteries in the tubes. For gray to try to match the how this looks, we have this uh, just a very generic gray stock, and then here's a mag pool. This is the SLK. It's kind of like a cross between the one I just showed you and this big boy. So it's a um, it's a little smaller, but still meant for those like carbine style rifles. Okay. So we have our stock picked out for us. All right, so now we have the stock installed. Um, and this one is obviously, obviously adjustable, but you're looking for that, uh, that sort of smaller package. Okay, so next up, um, going to be looking at light, or optics, excuse me. Now we do have the EOTech. This is a holographic sight. Um, while I do really like EOTechs, they are a little bit on the pricier side. And in this particular application, um, I feel like that's going to be very, it's very quite large. And again, we're trying to go with like a smaller build here. So I'm actually going to recommend a red dot sight. This one in particular is the uh, Six Hour Romeo 5. So again, it's a lot, um, it's much smaller. Turn it on for you. Um, but I feel like that would match the build quite nicely here. So, got my handy dandy, where's this one? I, this one's a star pattern. nice trusty tool here. We'll put it on and kind of uh, get it where you'd like it. If I have it the right way. So now that I have the red dot installed, we are we're almost there. I feel like even with the stock extended, um, it's, it's still a relatively smaller package. So, next up, I got a few more options for, if you would uh, if you would like. So we're going to talk about uh, foregrips. So this right here is more of a finger stop. It's not really a grip, and the idea of it is when you're holding, this would actually. Um, It just goes right up front here. And ideally you would clamp it like that, and it just kind of prevents your hand from uh, potentially sliding forward. Now there is one built into the hand guard here, but it just kind of prevents your hand from sliding forward any. Um, or we also have a gray grip 
to go with this package. Now this could, uh, it works in a number of different ways, but mainly it would be, you could do the same thing. It could be like a hand stop, um, or you could actually just straight up grip it if you'd like. A um, couple, couple of different options with that one. We now have your rifle completed.